Market Monday, and man, am I a happy camper. We take a look at the content schedule. Of course, zero chill heading towards Thursday, but the curveball we got this week, Team Buildage, which of course we've been preparing for. So let's actually take a look at the Unsung Heroes first. Marcus Mariota is going to be your NFC South Unsung Hero, a quarterback, right? I think he has a pretty good release, 91 speed for his cards. By the way, not going to be going over the Team Builders. They're 88 overalls, but it's just like they're not the greatest cards. Uh, not going to go over them. Lane Johnson, right tackle, NFC East. Uh, we've been lacking right tackle, so he is one of the highest overalls at that position dalvin tomlinson definitely more of a 3-4 left end you can play him at d tackle only 80 speed but really good block shit power move strength that sort of player kind of like a cam hay or even an aaron donald kobe bryant with the c not with the k 93 speed uh, opposite of Tariq woolen i don't know his height if you guys give me his height down in the comments below by the way I don't have any discount abilities for these players moving on to the afc tradavius white although he has been injured for most of the year uh, he gets a 92 overall car, but definitely well-deserved 92 speed. Nick Bolton for the Chiefs, and he is not the only Chief he uh, in this video. 91 speed, you know, great player in real life, 95 hit power. Only 83 block shit, though, for middle linebackers, kind of weak. Right guard, Nate Davis. We're now getting another right guard, uh, just because we are so weak at that position. 92, Nate Davis, right guard. And the next up, and I think this is the final... Uh, unsung hero uh, for each division, Mark Andrews. A little bit low on the speed, honestly, not the greatest card. 85 run block is not that bad. And for the first time ever, we are getting conference uh, sort of champion unsung heroes for the AFC. It's going to be Justin Reed. And if I'm being honest, as a Chiefs fan, he has not had that good of a year, but his card is pretty dang good. He has good height, 93 speed, good hit power, good zone coverage. Uh, and then your NFC champion is going to be Jalen Hurts. I'm very curious to see the discount abilities for these players and of course how you get these unsung heroes now we don't know how you're going to get the conference champions i would have to guess you collect all four of the divisional champions for each conference you put them in you get them back ncat or nbnd and then you get the jalen hurts or the justin reed to get an 80 on overall uh divisional champion in team builders one you have to put in four 87 unsung heroes and then how you got those unsung heroes and by the way you got the 487 Unsung Heroes back as BND plus the Divisional Champion. And to get the Unsung Hero 87 overalls, you had to put in five Team Builder 84 overalls, but you did not get those back as BNDs. And for the last of the reveals in this video, your Offensive Player of the Week is DK Mack. I have a pretty good card, of course, 6'3", I think, 94 speed, 95 deep route running. If we take a look at the just updated schedule for december now that we have team builders and team of the week both dropping tomorrow i'm guessing team builders in the morning team of the week in the afternoon zero chill confirmed for this thursday that is your content schedule and you might not see and you didn't see on the content schedule ea tweeted out uh yes this has been kind of rumored we kind of knew about this a few weeks ago season three is not happening uh this thursday now season two is still expiring you have until thursday morning to get your levels up, your harvest levels up, your most feared levels up, and your season two levels up, that will expire. But we are going to be getting a zero chill mini season with probably 50 or 60 levels, I would have to guess. Season three is more so slated for middle of January. Now hopping into one of the two subjects I wanted to talk about today, the first being team builders. And if you did not watch, not last week's Market Monday, but the week before that, we had talked about uh, team builder investing was one of our main investments going into zero. I mean, going into blitz, we were buying 82s, 84s, 86s, and some 80s. Here is the 88 overall team builder set from last year. It was it's a little bit different though because the exchange sets last year the lowest overall. And then like you would exchange uh, 80s and 80 80 through 82s for an 83, 84. You would exchange 83, 84s for an 85, 86. That lower card in that exchange pack was an odd number, so you saw team builders use on numbers last year whereas this year you can see we've been using even numbers being 80s or 82s or 80s through 81s of course using an 80 and then 82s through 83s using an 82 for team builder one so team builder two if i had to guess the set it's going to be 82s 84s and 86s and as you see in my binder i have been prepping for this i have a lot of 84s and 86s i am a little low on 82 overalls and i am planning on buying a few more of those because the best way to probably liquidate all these overall cards and you could actually probably liquidate liquidate the 87s the 85s even the 83s the whole entire low end like middle of the low end market is going to rise trust me team builders make 
certain cards at certain overalls boom in price it happens every time they release but again we're probably going to be liquidating each of these cards not through selling but rather through the set so i want to get like an even number of or just like a good number of 82s 84s and 86s so when the sets do drop i am ready to complete them and you could still actually go out and prep they're not uh, overpriced as of right now 82s have gone up a little bit i was trying to buy them like in the low twos they're at around 3,000 coins right now i'm buying under 2.5 but you can still go out and buy 86s under 10,000 and 84s under around 4.5 i would more if you want to just make the most coins i would say buy 86s and 82s because 84s we have that all madden reroll thus making if 84s are involved in the team builder two sets people are just going to roll the all maddens get those lowest overall 84 all madden cards in the 84 market might not move that much which will make probably the 82 in the 86 market really really go super expensive as long as they are involved in the team builder sets which we do think so next up we have got training of course training being the talk of the community really for the last two weeks and going at the zero chill right like how much training do you want to buy where do you want to buy at what cards do you want to sell and luckily for us ea granted us a uh just uh, it, it's awesome they pretty much dropped like a blitz-esque offer for aka's like they're they've cut the price in half on all their aka point offers and well the aka market has significantly significantly dropped and you're seeing prices now and you'll see me sniping in the background i'm buying 90s under 45k 91s under 69k i was even buying some 92s under 105 and 93s under 160 again my target price has always been under five per but i did adapt a little bit today and my target price really has moved down to like under four six so i'm even being more greedy with my buys and i've even spent probably seven to eight mil today on aka's and i plan on spending a few more mil later tonight after this video but one thing i do want to keep reiterating we talked about this over the weekend now over the weekend it was pretty much sell any card that was going for above seven per and then take those coins and buy any card under five per and i've kind of adjusted my thinking a little bit i'm now not especially with the market how it is right now i think you should be looking to sell any card and most of the cards i will say are blitz there's some legends some team of the weeks that go for above six per if you have the opportunity to sell blitz cards any cards in your binder above six per sell them and then go ahead and then take those coins and buy training at 4.5 4.7 remember you're not buying this specific card you're just buying the number you're buying the training value so dante foreman for example if i can sell for 88k take those coins that's a 91 overall and then go buy 91 aka for 67k why not do it you are saving over 10,000 coins on that 91 overall training investment and a lot of blitz guys have become very very rare and you can sell most of them for around six per so yes over the course of this next week before zero chill i am going to be trying to dump uh, even more now blitz guys and as long as the aka stay low the team of the weeks maybe tomorrow lower the market even more i'm gonna just try to swap out my guys that are going for above six per and pick up more training under 4.5 4.7 of course i don't really think i think i'm one of the only the few people that don't think training or does not think training is going to go to like 7, 7.5. I think that would be a little bit too high. I think training just goes to maybe 6 at a flat line at 6.5 max for certain overalls. I know that's may not that may not be what you want to hear, but again, buying training at 4.5 and selling at 6, 6.5 is more than a 20% increase after tax. It is a very, very big profit. That would be buying 90 overalls for 45k, selling them for 65k. That's 15k profit. That is a lot of of coins to be made so don't be afraid of selling certain cards in your binder for six per taking those coins buying them at 4.5 per but that's going to be all for the video today i not well there actually is a there was a bunch to talk about team builders and team uh training of course investments going to zero chill but there's not too much there's not those aren't too complicated right of a conversation of buying training and buying certain overalls for team builders which we've been doing pretty much for the past two weeks zero chill this thursday i'm excited for that team builders probably again tomorrow morning to me the week in the afternoon continue to buy training at 4.5 4.7 per and under and sell the cards in your binder that are going for more than six per in my opinion comment if you have any questions like if you've enjoyed subscribe if you are new and until next time peace